Hello makers, welcome back to Simply Innovation. Today I'm gonna show you a simple Internet of Things experiment connecting my ESP32. I'm using Node 32S by Node MCU with a potentiometer and also DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. An LED here, it will pause to my Node.js backend server that deployed on OpenNode then push the data, store the data into MongoDB database hosted on mlab.com. So from my ESP32, we'll post every 10 seconds to my Node.js backend server deployed on opennode.io, then store the data into MongoDB database on mlab.com. Okay, let's get started. So I've created a simple Node.js backend server, then deployed to opennode.io. Here is my project called IoT Lintang. Let's try to get to my initial root, iotlintang.opennode.io. Here is my backend server's response. Then I'll post the data into my backend server, then store the data into MongoDB hosted on mlab.com. On MLab, I've created a simple database called Simple Innovation with a collection called Lintang IoT. There is no data here, no document here. Okay, let's connect to my ESP32. I'll turn it on with 5 volt. I'm using micro USB from my laptop here. It will post the data every 10 seconds. Okay, wait for the data. LED is on, it means my ESP32 is sending the data. Let's try to refresh my MLab database. Let's see the data here. Nice, there's a data here. Suhu 22. Humidity 65 and analog 4095. It's maximum value. Okay. Let's try to minimize the potentiometer value here. I'll minimize. And let's wait for a moment. Let's try to refresh my MongoDB MLab database. Okay, it's still 4095, the latest data here. Let's wait. Nah. My ESP32 is sending data. Let's refresh on MLab. And the latest data here, look at that. Analog, zero. Next, let's try again to add the value of my potentiometer here. And wait for a moment. Okay, let's refresh. And nice. Now, my analog value, the latest data here is 2128. It works. So that's it. A simple IoT project connecting my ESP32 to Node.js framework deployed on opennode.io, then push the data into MongoDB database hosted on mlab.com. For full tutorial, you can check on link on the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next simple project by Simple Innovation. Bye.